HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, is a retrovirus that has affected millions of people worldwide since as early as 1959. At the end of 2016, there was approximately 36 million people living with HIV or AIDS. Because of the large effects this disease has had on the population, there has been a great amount of research done to try to understand how this retrovirus works in the human body. One enzyme that has been discovered and studied is HIV integrase. The role of HIV integrase is to insert the viral DNA into the host cell DNA by performing a series of DNA cutting and joining reactions. HIV integrase is made up of a single polypeptide chain that is folded into three different domains, the N-terminal, the core domain, and the C-terminal. The N-terminal consists of residues 1 through 51 and is made up of four alpha helices. The N-terminal also contains a HIS2 cis2 motif, which binds zinc. The zinc triggers the correct folding of the N-terminus. The overall function of the N-terminal is unclear, but it is required for the integration activity. The core domain consists of residues 52 through 210 and is responsible for the catalytic activity for integration and disintegration. The core domain is made up of a five-stranded beta barrel with six surrounding helices. The three carboxylate residues, D64 aspartate, D116 aspartate, and E152 glutamate are a DDE motif that make up the active site of this protein. There is also a magnesium molecule in between D64 and D116. If these three residues are mutated, the protein loses its function. These same residues are also found to have the same role in other retroviruses and integrases. It has also been found that there are two lysine residues, K156 and K159, located close to the DDE motif and are involved in the viral DNA binding by interacting with the sugar phosphate backbone of the DNA. Here is a close-up of the active site of HIV integrase. The red represents aspartate 64 and aspartate 116. The green represents glutamate-152, and the blue represents lysine-159. The C-terminal contains residues 210 through 288, and is composed of a five-stranded beta barrel. The C-terminal also contains SH3, which allows the domain to non-specifically bind DNA. The C-terminal also contains a saddle-shaped cleft that is created by positive charged residues the design of this area works well to interact and bind with the double-stranded DNA of the host cell. HIV integrase normally exists as a dimer, and this dimer is stabilized through salt bridges and hydrogen bonds between the beta strand 3 and alpha helices 1, 3, 5, and 6. HIV integrase undergoes a 3' processing reaction to integrate the HIV viral DNA into the host cell DNA. This reaction starts with the integrase dimer binding to the active site of the HIV C DNA that was formed with the help of HIV reverse transcriptase. Integrase then cuts two nucleotides, a guanine and a thymidine, from both 3' ends of the viral DNA and replaces it with a hydroxyl group, exposing a 5' AC. The now exposed 3' hydroxyl group attacks opposite strands of the host DNA and integrates the host DNA where the sites of integration on the two host DNA strands are four to six base pairs apart. Through the process, a series of transesterification reactions occur. The two nucleotide flaps on the HIV DNA 5' strands are then removed. The new viral DNA is now inserted into the DNA. Almost for almost half a century, a diagnosis of HIV meant a sure death. However, in 1996, a combination of drugs called HAART was released and is found to be an effective treatment to halt the effects of the HIV virus. Because integrating the viral DNA into the host cell DNA is a crucial step in the successful spread of HIV, HIV integrase is one of the proteins targeted by the heart medication. Dilute Gravir or Revolt Gravir are pills that need to be taken daily, and they disrupt the function of HIV integrase, preventing the DNA from integrating into the host DNA. The integrase inhibitors bind to the DDE motif active site of HIV integrase and makes many bonds with the structure to prevent it from binding to the host DNA. 
Since the release of H -A -H -A -A -R -T in 1996, the number of HIV deaths has decreased drastically, and HIV is no longer a death sentence. Understanding the mechanisms of viral HIV and structures such as HIV integrase has allowed treatment methods to evolve and save millions of lives every year.